shit. What's up, everybody? Another tip for you guys, and it involves a flathead. So, uh, we had a sewing machine laying around. Uh, you know, we haven't used it in ages. Well, actually, we've never used this one. I uh, obtained it for free. And uh, went to use it to uh, sew my green screen, a uh, little pocket so we can just put the rod through it. And it didn't have a pedal. And for those who know sewing machines, or the basic principle of sewing machines, you need a pedal. This doesn't have a pedal, so how are we going to make it work? I'll show you with a flathead. Let me know when you're good. That's how you do it. Now I'm going to show you a little close-up of what that entailed of. Okay, so the sewing machine is right here. And let's see the stitch real quick. We stitched it. It's not the cleanest stitch, but all things considering, I can't complain. It's kind of hard to control when somebody else is <laughs> doing your speed for you. So basically, I use this flathead right here. And the input for uh, the pedal is right here. Now let's see if I can get that to focus. As you can see, that's kind of like a DC jack. Uh, kind of like a normal power supply thing going on there. Um, so yeah. So the secret about most switches is when you, for a pedal or just like a light switch, We'll just say the pedal, you press it down, it completes the circuit, aka jumps the two wires together. When you lift up, disconnects the circuit. So when you use the flathead, I put the flathead in, and my flathead screwdriver touches the center pin and the outside pin, kind of like positive and negative, and it's completing the circuit, just like if you were pressing the pedal down. Completes the circuit, and it makes it move. We pull it out, all good. So there's a little life hack, if you want to call it, if you're missing a pedal to your sewing machine, and it has a jack like that. Until next time, stay classy, San Diego.